Hi, my love. It's Lady Girl from Around the Way, where we have culture, conversation, and community. And in today's video, I'm coming to you all with a South Central Baddies um, episode nine review. The name of this episode is called "I'm Getting Closer." Okay, I'm getting closer, high into my dreams. Period. Um, y'all, Happy New Year's with an S at the end on purpose. I was telling my coworker like. <clears throat> It's Happy New Year to some, but it's Happy New Year's to the ones I know. You feel what I'm saying? Happy New Year's. Let's just hop into it. But before I do, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Because I'm trying to get to that 10K by the end of the day, period, point blank. Thank you so much to all of the new subscribers and to all of the support that y'all showed in 2023. That really showed up for me in a real way. And um, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Like, I just want you to feel me for real all right so let's just hop into it because that's what we do so we see the arrival of nina and billy and sweet dreams and they all in the living room they all kind of walking around looking like some park animals just looking like they're ready to get into something but it's clear that some of the girls would like to go to the club okay so pressure is like how are we gonna go to the club and we're not pre-gaming like we need to do something like if we're gonna go to the club let's go to the club like i'm gonna do something they had mentioned something about challenges i don't even remember a season where isaiah was actually able to get through some challenges really i don't and we don't want to see no hot chip challenge no more okay come with something for real so when they all decided they were gonna um you know have fun and go out they start the pregame they start drinking pressure is dancing she's shaking her ass all in front of ivory and you know they kind of just going in so the girls in the confessional like yeah they just want to act like they my friends girl it's not cool it's not sweet pressure was having a really good time she was just like i'm having it we having we lit so we see liddy kind of just looking like with the look on her face like you know she about to go in and um out of nowhere she just splashed the hennessy cup into fly nice face and gets on top of her as she says in her own words commenced to donkey konging her okay and if you need a visual all right she not fly nice in a sectional she in a corner of the sectional all dumb and liddy's on top of her straddled over her hitting manga 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 like this so they get fly nigh out of the area where all of the girls were in the living room and fly nigh is salty she saw as you can see it all on her face she was not expecting that she wanted to have a good time but liddy said burn baby burn disco inferno shout out to tina r.i.p miss tina um she's like yeah burn b burn b burn b i don't care if fly nigh washing her face she looks salty she looked like yeah she really got that one they're like yeah so who else wanted for me who else want the fade who else got a problem with lady and she said in the confessional she said she was doing that to call anybody out if anybody wanted the issue it was their time to come get it nobody said nothing nobody said nothing nobody said nothing I, I didn't hear anything no everybody was just sitting on quiet look around everybody on mute i'm like she gets to popping it you know they're helping they're helping fly now get the liquor out of her hand she's like isaiah ma'am she need to go home she need to go home like since when you want somebody to go home somebody need to go home after savannah's money came up missing but that's a whole different story but you know whatever i digress fly now is upset she could tell she was really she was really she was livid so um lady said it popping it i'm sober now this is my energy when i'm sober i'm sober now y'all was supposed to stay active y'all was supposed to stay this that, and the third y'all was doing all this big energy last night da, 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 da. like which okay cool if y'all want to act like y'all some motherfucking rough and tough with these afro puffs at any point i'm gonna pop off and that's what she did i don't feel like it was a sneak i feel like these girls are in here i feel like if anything <clears throat> fly night popped off popped off on her for no reason so in all fairness, this is if you want to count it like that, Lydia is popping off on her for no reason because it was all chilling and really wasn't no issue. But at this point, we already know it was an issue. So is it really like, you know, whatever? Which came first, the chicken or the egg type of thing? Like, come on. So Lolly tried to bark up or whatever. Lolly, mmm, mmm. Lolly tried to pop off. She's starting to bark up. Fly and I keep talking about they need to send them home. She keep attacking me, man. She keep attacking me, man. So Nina. Nina comes out, she starts to bark like, if you was at the club, we should've, if y'all was trying to beef at that club, I should've left it at that club, okay? Cause I wanna go to Bella No Chase. So Nina's just like, you know, at the end of the day, y'all could've just waited for that cause we all wanted to go to the club. We wanna go to the club, the club, the club. Nina started to, you know, throw her little two cents. So then Lolly gets that pressure. Lolly and pressure finally get into it. Anyway, so Lolly and pressure get to get into it. And they finally get their fit because I think um, pressure wanted to fight nine at first and then Lolly hopped in so now Lolly want pressure. I guess she felt like she the biggest, she felt like she could take her. Lolly kept swinging. Pressure keep trying to 
do all this, okay? Now lean back, all right? Lean back. She want to be motherfucking leaning back <clears throat> to avoid getting hit when she should have been leaning in, getting into her. Like, some of these girls that be fighting, they just be in, like, face just bow, bow, bow. <clears throat> For whatever reason, pressure felt like she could be lean all the way back here like this, okay? Chilling in the scene with the gangster lean. Like, girl, get to it. Um, I feel like, in my humble opinion, what y'all think? Drop down in the comments. The pressure, I feel like the pressure come with the pressure. We all see that pressure is going to be on Mean Girls. So now that's TV, the network is effing with her, which shout out to you, Pressure. But this leaning back was just throwing me. Um, anyway, Lolly and her, her wig comes off. The pressure ends up on the floor somehow or another. So then Nye and Liddy get into it. That fight was intense. Nye was on some get back. Nye was on some major get back. She really felt the type of way, you could tell. And she's just like, you know, they were showing different angles. I like that for the fight. So while Pressure is doing the lean back lingo with uh with uh, Lolly, um, Nye and Liddy, they was their little fight. They was squabbling. They was getting to it. They was they was in there, okay? And um, they was going at it. They was working. Working me, gotta work. She was working me. Like I'm, I'm just trying to. I, it was, it was for me a very intense fight. This is one of the most intense fights that I've seen between Fly Nye and Liddy because they've been going round for round at this point. So Isaiah and Nye is going at it. I'm just like poor Isaiah. He can't catch a motherfucking break. I seen a glimpse of Kilo Sweat. Even he looked a little kind of like girl. These kids is doing too much. Um. I said, like, well, what do you want me to do? She like, well, she threw liquor with me. Are you gave her that cup and this and the third? Like, she, like Isaiah said, y'all grown women. Like, what y'all expect for him to do? What did y'all expect for him to do? Isaiah snapping, like, I keep giving these people these platforms. They keep being disrespectful. I'm done with this. I'm done with this. Like, Isaiah, I feel like, I feel like South Central Baddie stresses him out more than Playboys. Because Playboys is different. Like, they are his peer, so to speak. Gay men, most of them. So I just think that South Central Baddie stresses them out even more. So anyway, Liddy is in a room. She in pain, yo. You can tell she in pain. She's like, oh, she bit me. I put my fist in her mouth, and she bit me. She bit me. I, I, I got to go to the hospital now because they say I need, I need to go get checked out because of a bite mark. Voluntarily, I'm going like, I, she she bit me on my, you know, on my chest, and she bit me on my finger. Shorty is a biter. You know, when you bite in the fight, you just, that's animalistic, baby. You just... Bear instinct, I'm just trying to hurt you as much as possible. I don't care what I gotta do. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, Lolly is popping in. Yeah, cause I slipped yesterday. I slipped yesterday, today I got on you. Today I got on you. Yeah, cause I make all you bitches shine. <sighs> Act like she moaning, glitter and everything. So yeah, and even the glitter backfired on me this time. I got into my eye and I still worked you. Do y'all think that Lolly worked pressure? What y'all think? I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna say anything yet. I'll wait. I wanna know what y'all think. Cause y'all know me with the fights, I don't watch it slow-mo, I'm not running it back and looking who, I'm not doing all that. I'm watching it like a regular viewer from first glance. Who y'all think won? Lolly or Pressure? Drop in the comments. Anyway, Pressure's still popping. Like these girls can't, <clears throat> These girls can't get with me. I'm still big pressure, and I'm still big pressure. Anytime they want to fight me, they want to they want to jump me because I'm pressure. Yeah, I'm still pressure. Diamond's still in my face. Hell, like you you didn't do anything. So, but Lolly is like, yeah, she told me if you want this day, come and get it. She's like, don't use my cousin line. Don't use my cousin line. Like, yeah, Lolly, what was you thinking, that girl? That that uh, that thing. Um, Lolly is popping it. They have to keep her outside. They're trying to keep her contained. She's punching the wall. She's punching the trash can. Even security guards was looking like, ooh. They was looking at her like, oh my gosh, she got some, she got some anger, before, you know, in, within her. Um, she got some ancestral anger built up in her ass. So, um, uh, Nina goes downstairs. I guess she was looking for the wig for uh, Liddy's wig or whatever. And Fly Night started looking up on her like, yeah. So like. You know, what you, what's that your friend? What's that your homegirl? This, that, and they're like, yeah, well, it's not down here. So go back upstairs. And so then like, y'all don't have to talk to me. Like, I'm some punk. I don't care what y'all talking about. Like, I ain't on that type of time. It is what it is. Production told me to come down here. That's what I did. You know, yada, yada, yada. So I just started kind of just looking back and forth. 
And Nina, she kind of stood her ground, but she got the fuck up out of <laughs> She did. She got up out of there and she went upstairs. She's like, now they talking to me like, I ain't, I ain't got no two. Like, like, I ain't the second and third. Like, yeah, well, what you was down there for, uh, Nina, if you ain't know that they was going to try to go crazy fine. I got it. A territory. Uh, um, yeah, a territorial issue because that's how, this is how the thing popped off with Lydia. Like, get out of my room. Get out of my room. Meanwhile, this little rental girl, stop it. Now, this is my home. Somebody's in my home gig. Get, get you're not even invited in, first of all, but get out of my home. Get out of my personal space. But, girl, if you're going on so hard like this in this little rented corner y'all got by this network, stop it. It's just not giving it. But, you know, y'all, they in different situations, different circumstances. I, you know, I couldn't. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying, it just feels like homegirl ain't never have a place to live, okay? Wherever she lay her hat is her home. And I got a little piece of a corner of a twin mattress, but you get out of my room. And for that... We gotta respect it. I'm mad at something like in my throat, damn. You know what I have? Like, it's like not even in my throat, but I just, like, it's not scratchy, but it's just like, <coughs> very much something. Like, even if I drink a water, it's not gonna, <coughs> I'm just. And Isaiah get to talking again. And Isaiah like, yeah, you're very disrespectful. She's like, I was disrespectful to you. How was I disrespectful to you? He was like, your tone of voice. Like, you're disrespectful. And she was like, well, they gotta leave. They threw liquor at me. That was a weapon. That was a weapon. If anything, Bali needs to leave then. She had a weapon by way of glitter, okay? So like, she really wants some, wants some, uh, what would they call it in South Central Baddies? Like, not a mark, not an op, maybe an op. She's on some op type shit. Cause like, what are you trying to dry this for? Like, girl, she do the look on you, it is what it is. Um, anyway, he like, this is my show. I can't control what y'all doing, y'all grown women. She like, all right, cool. So when I start doing me, just know, I'm gonna just start doing me around here. So anyway, Lolly calls pressure out again, okay? Lolly caused pressure out again. And um, they get into it. That was another good little squabble. They get into it. That was another good little squabble. I don't know how big pressure is in comparison to Lolly. It was good. Um, anyway, Liddy uh, gets uh Liddy was like told production that I'm done. Um apparently um Lolly, not Lolly, uh, Pressure's makeup artist was coming. She was like, Yeah, that's why you're not getting your makeup done. It is what it is. And they go back into the room. And uh, finally, I said something funny like, "Yeah, you got that old ass store, them old ass, just behind that old ass door." I thought that was a little bit funny, high key. Anyway, so Lita, uh, Liddy, and Nina talking. She's like, "Yeah, thanks for trying to go look for my wig or whatever." I thought that was a cute little interaction, like just real quick, boom, boom, bam. Pressure and I again, like. <sighs> Pressure and I again. Pressure them for Lolly. Pressure them for Nye. We haven't seen Lily fight Lolly. I'm sure it's going to happen at some point. But um, pressure flipped her in the fight. The first fight, pressure flipped Nye. You know what I mean? And you know, pressure was just trying to grab her from what I see. And she got up on top of her one time. And after that, pressure had dipped. She's like, "Yeah, you still ain't do nothing. You still ain't do nothing. Diamond still in my face. I'm still big pressure." Like she didn't. She didn't off her. They didn't off one another. It was just like a tussle, an intense tussle. Anyway, Liddy, um, Fly Night calls Liddy out. Yeah, ball head, the ball head. Come outside, come outside. Like, girl, <laughs> not ball head, the ball head. And I was just talking about this to my best friend. We were just talking about how, like, the girls with the little, the least amount of hair could always really fight good. But, um, which is ugh, so terrible and stereotypical, which is not true, by the way. But we all know the girls with the little noni tails, they typically the ones that don't care. They ain't got nothing to lose. They just, they just out there with it. Anyway, Liddy realizes that uh lolly is in um their room because pressure goes into the room and talk and is talking to liddy through the balcony liddy decides to play spider woman and hop from balcony she said i looked at it i sized it up and i scaled it i jumped it and went downstairs into lolly and um ivory's in the room so when i tell you them girls whole ass into that room they was booking it all right they was booking it to that room and apparently Liddy had, they said they had a 12 carton of eggs. Why would they, why did they even have raw eggs in their room, girl? What y'all doing with that? Eggs in their room. She was, uh, threw eggs on that stuff, threw juice all on their stuff. I don't know if it was on everybody's stuff or if it was just some Lolly stuff. Lolly is pissed off like, yeah, why would you do that stuff in my room? I was in your room, I didn't do nothing. But like, why would you go in somebody's room and then not do anything? That's the first thing they're going to think of is, oh, you're going to deface, you're going to trash my stuff. So if you did that and made that move and didn't do nothing with it, that was just stupid. That's stupid, guys. Use your common sense, okay? That didn't even make no sense to go into that girl room and not really do nothing. So I can see why she went into your room thinking that you was about to trash her stuff. Like, very simple, y'all. We didn't see BDC. We didn't see how these things go. Like, she ain't know what you had. So she went up top, whatever. Um, that was a real stupid move, Lolly, because you went in that room and did nothing. 
Anyway, so Ivory just puts off. She had to throw it. She's like, yeah, Lydia, I'm going to need that. I'm going to need that. I'm going to need that. You in my room. You in my room. And, Lila, and, and Lydia's in the conventional. Basically, like, why would you go into my room? Why would you pass that threshold? Which I do agree with and not do nothing. She said, Lydia opened up the door, threw some eggs and shut it. Production was kind of keeping them separate. The girls are heated. The girls are heated. It's big beef in there. <laughs> it's a beef factory. It's a mother. It's a cow farm up in there, baby. It's beef, bad. Okay. Um. All you hear is security keeps talking about stuff. Oh, I keep getting hit. Oh, I keep getting hit. Oh, oh, ah, she give me up. Like, it's bad. Next week's episode is going to be crazy. We see Billy. She starts to talk. She even sounds weird when she talks. Just, um, she misses some chromosomes, in my opinion, because that don't even look all the way healthy. Um. Yeah, we're gonna see some. We're gonna see next week's episodes. Another good episode of South Central Bad Baddies. I know that the girls are mad that Zeus didn't come out with nothing. I mean, you know, now that's TV, you know, it's the way you act. It's the way you act sometimes. You know, not not too much on me though. Let me just keep it cute. But I don't know. This was a good episode as far as I'm concerned. Like I know that Zeus didn't come out with their little episodes, and I can wait. Personally speaking, child, House House A and House B. Like, girl. We got some real beef cooking over here. <laughs> they cooking, all right, over on the other TV, in my opinion, okay, in my humble opinion. Let me know what y'all think. Drop down in the comments. As always, I'm sending you much love and much light, and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Peace.